Hey guys, welcome back. This is uh, Johnny here with BMF Customs. We're just got the uh, Parvum S2.0 now fully built. It is assembled and ready for any components that may go into it. Just want to give you guys a quick overview of this case. So as you can see here, we're looking at the front. We've got the beautiful acrylic. It's all set up, ready to go. We have intake fans, these are 120 millimeter right here. Here we have a nice uh, vandal switch. We've got two USB 3.0 headers and that about wraps it up for the front. This is a very simplistic case. Uh, coming around to the side, as you can see, we've got this cutout right here which is where our power supply is going to intake all the fresh air that it needs. Going around to the back, we have our video card input output. This is where our motherboard goes. We've got the back cutout for the power supply and we have three 80 millimeter fans. I'm not, uh, not exactly a fan of 80 millimeter fans but you can get some low RPM fans so they don't make a whole lot of noise and it'll I may or may not put them in here but that'll uh, keep uh, the case with positive pressure coming around to the front now the reason this window looks so dark is because I currently have the protective film still on it I have not removed that so coming to the top as you can see we have support for two 120 millimeter fans maybe combined with a 120 or a 240 millimeter radiator all right to get the side panel off on this now remember this is a a fairly nice case every panel on here can be taken off so in order to remove these screws you will need an allen key I'll whiz this off real quick, shouldn't take too long. I apologize for the delay, I could have done this off camera, but I'm trying to get this wrapped up before I have to go pick my son up from school. In the end, I may edit it out. Unless people just like seeing a jackass like me sit here and fiddle fuck with keys with an Allen key. So. Alright, so there we have it. We've got the window off, ready to take a look. As you can see here, we've got a nice CPU cutout in here. We've already got motherboard standoffs in here. Just so you're aware, this is a micro ATX case. You can get micro ATX or mini ITX in here. You will not be able to get a full size ATX case. Over here, we've got our nice cutouts for our cable management. And these are actually the wires for the vandal switch and the USB 3.0 headers. Now as you can see, I don't know if you can tell because it's white and it may blend in, but right here the case actually dips back. So you have much more space between the side window back here than you do here. So there's plenty of room in here for stuff. And in the front you can probably get a nice radiator in there with 220 millimeter fans on them. So overall very clean, very minimalist. I like it. I think it's a beautiful case.
Now this entire case has been put together with two different length screws. You have 6 millimeter and 10 millimeter. And the general rule of thumb is anytime you are screwing through two pieces of plexi, it will be a 10 millimeter. And anytime you go through one piece, it will be a 6 millimeter. All right. So now we're around the back looking at the power supply compartment. Back here you have plenty of room. You can see here we've got our vandal switch wiring and our USB 3.0 coming through. I just have them run back here for now just to tuck them out of the way. They obviously won't be like this when it's used. We have space for one 80 millimeter fan right here. Here you can see our power supply cutout and this will fit full ATX power supplies and I believe even larger but don't quote me on that. I want to make sure I'm not talking out of my ass here. All right, as you can see, we still have the nice CPU cut out. One thing to remember with this case is it is machined acrylic, so it does have sharp edges everywhere. Just from putting this together, I don't have any cuts that actually broke my outer layer of skin and caused me to bleed, but there are definitely gouges in my hands from working with this case. All right, right here we've got our standoff for our power supply. Also, Something to note is right here, I'm going to try to turn it and get you a good angle. Up here in the top is a piece of clear plexi that is actually your hard drive mount. You can fit 3.5 and 2.5 inch hard drives or SSD up here and they actually hang down and they'll be vertical with the ground. Alright, so as you can see, that about wraps up our quick overview of the Parvum S2.0. Highly recommended. Uh, definitely like this case. If you are a first time computer builder and you want absolutely minimum work on your part to put it together, this may not be the case for you, but that in no way diminishes the quality and aesthetic appeal of this case. It's, it's a wonderful case. It is just a little bit more complicated to put together. It does not come pre-assembled. All right, guys. This is Johnny. Thanks very much for joining me. Have fun. Hopefully, we'll be seeing this guy again.